Welcome everyone. The first way to access all backups on your iPhone is we're going to open up the settings and you should see your name at the top. If you don't, just scroll down and look for this iCloud option instead. So either tap on your name or iCloud and then you're going to tap on the iCloud option and you should see the iCloud backup here. You're going to tap on this one and before we proceed to view the old backups you want to create a backup now because viewing the old backups involves factory resetting the iPhone. So once you have verified you have backed up your iPhone we're going to head over to the home page of settings we're going to tap on general and then we're going to find at the bottom transfer or reset iPhone this may just say reset and then we're going to tap on erase or content and settings and we're going to erase the iPhone if your old backups are stored on a computer don't erase the iPhone follow the computer part of this video and there'll be chapters to skip to that if your old backups are located in iCloud factory reset the device and once it's factory reset let's move to the next steps after you are factory reset you're going to see this hello screen and you just want to set up your iPhone until you see the apps and data. When you are here you're going to see the restore from iCloud backup you're going to tap on this and now you need to enter in the same iCloud login as you used on the device earlier. Once you go to the backup page you're going to see the latest backups and you're going to see the other backups and then you're going to see show all backups. So these are your older backups you can see right here. There is a limit for the amount of backups it does show and as I have maybe 30 iPhones or devices linked to my account it's uh, you know, kind of cuts off here. So if that's the case you may need to delete some backups in the uh, settings. You will need a device signed in to iCloud for that. But you can see go all the way back to 2022 here and if I wanted to go back even further I would have to delete some of these devices. Uh, once you found the backup you just select it and you'll be good to go. Now if you had a backup on your computer then let's move to the computer and I'll show you the process there. On the computer if you have a Windows you will need to download the iTunes so just head over to this website here you'll need to type it in yourself and then download iTunes. On Mac iTunes is built in to the operating system so on Windows you're going to open up the iTunes on Mac we open up Finder and you should see an icon with your iPhone show up so you're going to select it and you're going to see the restore backup or you should see a name of your backup and so just click on that and then click on this button here and you should see all of your old backups okay if you're on Windows there is a chance you won't see the old backups and that's because there are two versions of iTunes so if you downloaded the Microsoft version of iTunes and you don't see your backup then scroll down and then click on this Windows button here and then click on download iTunes for Windows now and then download this version of iTunes set this one up and then open this version here and then repeat the steps you saw earlier in the video if that doesn't work you then need to get the Microsoft Store version and hopefully you'll find the old backups if you can't find the old backups then they may have been deleted and so in that case there's nothing you can do because if they're deleted they're gone but maybe check the recycle bin maybe there's a chance you can recover the backups or check another computer with that being said if you'd like to help support the channel please do check the description bye bye